I'm acting like I'm never late. <laughs> Why? Why am I even trying? <clears throat> so I thought that I would just let my hair kind of air dry as we do this tonight. So it's not quite, it's not where it's supposed to be right now, okay? But I have some products. I figured I would just make this a part of the routine. How are you guys doing? So I'm just gonna probably do this while we're talking. <laughs> um, let me make sure we have the right angle, the right setup here. fun keeping it live keeping it real keeping it real hold on a second <laughs> no it's it's fine it's just it's just my um I need to get a new holder for my phone <laughs> guys I have my shit together okay truly truly it is so glamorous over here you have no idea that was fun. That was fun. Come on. It could happen again. Just be aware. It's me just trying to get the right angle. Okay. <laughs> is it okay? I mean, if yes, it's fine. The phone is fine. Megan DC, you dropped me in the bodega. I screamed too. I scared everyone. <laughs> oh my God. That's amazing. I love how I just affected some people in a bodega in DC. I love that. Um, okay, so I am so sorry about last night. We were supposed to have a live. I don't know if you guys saw that. I have been had, we have been having a total kind of, I don't want to call it a nightmare situation because I guess it could be worse. But we have been having such a fiasco with our bathroom. And I don't even know how to get into it, but basically like this, this building is old and that's not that strange for New York city. Okay. But like, my God, sometimes I wonder if the walls are actually made of paper mache. Um, it's been four days now that they're coming and fixing two huge water damage leaks were literally like the wall at like, or the ceiling at 8 a.m. one morning was just like aggressively dripping from above. And ever since then, it's been every day they're coming and fixing a new leak. And then, and then I, everything was like all fixed and I like scrubbed the floors. You could have eaten off the floors. I cleaned the apartment. And then the next morning we see like this giant, like, like, you know, the toothpaste or the toothbrush holder, it was like filled with dirty water. And I was like, what? I just cleaned this. And so lo and behold, we open up the medicine cabinet and the whole back is like wet and like rotting out. How these people who fix our, our bathroom don't notice these things, I don't know. But anyway, they had to come back and now rip that out. So literally like just rubble on the ground. <laughs> And so they came back today, but the problem is that like, they don't tell us when they're coming back because, because they don't, they just don't. So we don't know. We just never know. We're like, well, who, who's to say? And so then they come back at like 9 AM and we go to bed super late. So that doesn't work. Anyway, the point is it's been terrible, but, um, and you know, with our apartment, there's nowhere to go. We can't go into like the, I mean, there is another room, but <laughs> We're just here. I mean, we try to leave, but ay ay ay. Anyway, it's been a lot. So like, I try to hide it as best I can, but like a lot of the stuff from the bathroom is still like out here. It's it's really, it's fun. It's been really, really fun. It's been a joy and a pledge. Um, oh my goodness, let me say some hellos. Angie English is here. Hi, Kate, it's been a hot minute since I've been able to catch a live. How have you been? Hi, Angie. Um, uh, 
I know. I, I need a cocktail. Yeah, this is so <laughs> speaking of being sad, I, you know, have broken many a glass, many a wine glass. That's just par for the course. So I thought to put a chilled Sauvignon Blanc in this chilled beer glass because like, why wouldn't I be doing that anyway? Like, why haven't I been doing that though? I like answers for myself. Okay, so everyone chase. Oh my God, Amanda Z. <laughs> Amanda Z is here. Oh my God. Okay, okay. Okay, be cool. Just fucking be cool. Um, rocking and rolling. And what? That's whenever I say be cool, I just think of Danny Zuko. Um, Chase is going to be moderating for me, which is amazing. So he has the wrench. He can get rid of any assholes that come around. So be careful. Watch what you say. Um... Aaron Doherty, do not start again with the controversial questions, Amanda Z. No, yes, no, you do start with those. That was one of my favorite lives when Amanda Z talked about your nightmare blunt rotation slash your dream blunt rotation. I don't go back and watch my lives a lot, but I went back and watched that one. I sure did. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why do I feel like Forrest Gump all of a sudden? Like, I, I don't know what that was about, but anyway... Yeah, ask all the questions. Ask all of them. Every single one. I mean, not everyone. Don't. Sorry. Beg it up, beg it up, beg it <laughs> You know what I mean. Um, who else is here? Nadia. Nadia is here. Little baby beetroot is here. Um... Oh no, oh my God, Ali Wagner, I'm so sorry. I'm just seeing what you wrote. I'm so sorry. Ali Wagner had a really, really, really rough day. So we're gonna drink and we're gonna make it better. Aren't we? I mean, we're gonna try, we're gonna try. So what I'm gonna be trying today is mostly Kaja, new Kaja. And I have some new, like, flavored, these are called complex lip balms from Pacifica. Um, so they have a little bit of a tint, and I guess they're, they're very complex lip balms. Um, I'll look into what that means, but I think, I, I've actually tried these. They're actually really, really hydrating and really pretty. So I'm just going to put those on, like, as we get going, and then toward the end I'll do a different lip look. But... So I have some uh, Pacifica, some Kaja, I have about face. Um, so let's get going. I, hi, Anne. Why do I feel like this needs to go this way? Oh yeah, that angle made all the difference. Okay, so hi, Lauren. Lauren got me the sweater last year. Do you love it? Um, okay, so I'm going to take a drink. Amanda, what are you drinking? Are you drinking a beer? I know you're a beer lover. I know it. I, it's not like I, I mean, I haven't stalked you or anything. Like, it's not like that at all. Um, you're not drinking anything. Oh, Amanda, come now. <clears throat> which is wrong. Amanda, this is, we're giving you a chance to go get a drink right now. This is your only, this is your only chance. Just kidding. Um, okay, so let's get going with the foundation. I'm going to do a mix. I'm going to use my Fenty Pro filter. Oh, Chase is, Chase, Amanda Z, he's saying he wants you to join him in a smoke. A little smoky smokings. Um... Okay, so let me mix these two. So I'm, again, I'm mixing the Fenty Pro Filter and the MAC Face and Body because I want a little less coverage. I'm gonna do like half and half. Okay. 
Jamie K, pattern is pro-choice for all the curly folks out there. Yes, pattern by Stacey, sorry, Tracy Ellis Ross is pro-choice. They're on the list. And I haven't tried anything from them yet, but I read, I've been, you know, I did some extensive research into what shampoo and conditioner I'd be getting next. And that was like very high on the list. Like their reviews were great. So hopefully at some point I'll try, I'll try pattern. Um, I was a little worried. I felt like maybe they didn't make something for my fine ass hair, but I think they actually do. Um, Precious Roy 13, do you find the face and body has a bit of a weird smell? Um, I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm so, I'm not very sensitive to scent. So I guess there is a scent, but I don't care. I would never notice it. But then again, I've had people tell me that certain things are like, oh my God, I almost died from smelling this product. How do you put it upon your face? And I'm like, oh, really? Like I don't smell anything. I don't know what that means. I guess it just means I have a horrible sense of smell. Um, <laughs> I never thought I did until now. Chase said, oh, wow. Chase said, it's the binding agents in it that make it able to blend and build, but it has the smallest amount of citrus. Oh, wow. Damn. Chase is on it. All of a sudden, Chase is like the representative from MAC Cosmetics in the chat. Like, damn. Okay. Better throw down some knowledge. Look at how much better I look just with this. So much better. Just a little polish. Oh, Kara's here. Kara Chapman is here. Yes, another creator we love. Okay, so let me just blow my nose because <laughs> this is really a workout. It's really, it's really taxing to do this on camera but kind of though um okay so next we're gonna throw on some stretch concealer as you know this is one of my favorite concealers ever I actually love that combination. Like I feel like it definitely obviously gave me more coverage than the MAC face and body, but it also still looks a little dewy. Yeah. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you. I always kind of like, well, that's from blowing my nose, but get a little redness around my nose. So Okay. You guys, where are you in White Lotus? Let's get to the really, really important shit. I know that there are people in this chat who have not cut off on it. I am here to tell you, you have homework, okay? Because I am thinking, now I'm just throwing this out there, we're workshopping it together. What do you think? What say you? Why is there a fly in here? It is December. Fuck. You need to watch White Lotus because next week, I think that's gonna be my live stream. I wanna do a whole live stream talking shit about the White Lotus season two, right? Amanda Z, it's so good. It's so good, I'm caught up. I don't want to spoil anything for you guys. The season ends this coming Sunday. That is the last episode. So you need to watch all the episodes. And I want to hear anyone being like, nah, you're not caught up. Well, too bad. Okay. This is your homework now. I'm the mean substitute teacher right now. Okay. That's your homework. Two tough nugs. 
It's not tough nugs because it's amazing and you're welcome. If I could go back in time and watch it for the first time, I would. It's so good. Okay. Chase is pressuring everyone to thumbs this up. Ugh, you guys, you guys. There are only 36 thumbs ups and there are 96 people here. Get on it. Um, thank you so much. Linny, okay, but do you need to have seen season one to watch season two? I mean, okay, here's what I'm going to say about that. Do you need to? Maybe not. Should you? Yes. Yes, because there are so many things from the first season that like set the tone for the second season. Can you get, again, can you get away with watching, not watching the first season? Sure. Will it way, make way more sense and mean more to you if you watch it? Yes. So do with that what you will. Um, I know, Linny, so much homework, but it's fun homework. I promise. I promise. Okay. Wait, what's going on? What are you? What's, what's the buzz? Tell me what's happening here. Let's try. Oh. Mm. 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 Some thoughts about White Lotus. Okay. It's on uh, HBO Max. And I could also do, I was thinking about doing a live stream about the vow, but I don't know. Is that kind of old news now? I don't know. Okay, so let's move on to, we did concealer. Um, now, oh, I'm going to show you these new Pacifica lip balms. So these are called, again, the complex lip balm. And what's so complex about them, you ask? Well, I don't know. Let's find out together. Okay. Oh, oh, it's only ten dollars. What a what a bargain. What a steal. A delicious drink for parched lips. This balm features a lavender lemon scent plus plus conditioning vegan squalane, vegan collagen, and sunflower and ho Hoba seed oil to help fortify and relieve delicate skin. The ultimate smoothing and blend to help your lips achieve their plushiest pillowy potential. Okay. So the, there are two, two different shades. Um, this one is like, what is this called? This is called, well, where is it? Oh. Vegan, it's just called vegan collagen and it's, looks like it's a, like a light pink or something. Oh, oh, I haven't tried this shade. Oh yeah, this is very, I mean, I will say this is very cushiony and I actually like this shade better than the other one I'm going to show you, but. Look at how much better my lips look. Maybe when my lips feel parched again, maybe they won't. But when they do, I'll show you the other one. But it's like um, more of a, like a berry shade. I actually like this. Okay. Yes, Amelia is watching on TV and shopping at Sephora. Oh, I also wanted to mention to you guys. So the 20% off is going on right now at Sephora. So that's for anyone. Doesn't matter what tier you are. You get a one-time 20% off purchase. I put the link at the top of my description box. I don't know if you missed out on the Sephora sale or you couldn't afford the Sephora sale at the time or you wanted to get stuff you didn't get or whatever it is, you can uh, get in on that. Okay, so now I'm gonna do this. Now this has kind of um, confused me. I think I have one of these in the past that was sent to me by a subscriber. This is the Kaja Cheeky Stamp. 
Uh, oh yes, and the Sephora collection is 30% off at Sephora. That's true, thank you, Chase. Okay, so I got this in the shade Saucy. And so what you do, I guess, is you, <laughs> I don't know why this feels so ridiculous. No, it's fine, we're gonna commit. You stamp, I don't even know. You stamp it in like that. And then you just, that's cute. I mean, that's, that's cute. I don't know. I don't know that I need this, but it's, it's cute. Okay. Um, let's zoom in a little bit here. I mean, I, to me, the stamp is just like, to put it on. This is a rosy mauve shade. Um, and I mean, it's beautiful. It's really, really pretty. We're gonna double blush with this, but like, that's really nice. That's really nice. We'll come back to it. Um, again, like this is, it's cute. It's a little gimmicky for me, but like whatever, as long as, as long as the formula is beautiful and it blends out like, and at the shade is something I love, whatever. Yes. Chase said, Kaja does a great job of creating gimmicky, cute packaging and great formulas. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I was kind of thinking maybe I wouldn't have to powder because of the, I usually don't have to powder with the Fenty Pro filter, but uh, because I added that MAC face and body, I'm going to just, I'm a little dewy. I'm going to put a little powder on. And I just grab my Elia Fade Into You Soft Focus Finishing Powder. Someone about talk, talking about the um, the nightmare slash dream blunt rotation from last time. If you don't know what we're talking about, you need to go back and watch the last live stream because it'll change your life pretty much. <laughs> it was just so fun. Um, someone is like, why didn't someone almost seemed upset in the comments. And they were like, why did no one say Snoop Dogg? And I was like, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Yeah, that's just like the perfect amount of powder right there, I think. Just keep on zhuzhing, scrunching and zhuzhing. Jess R, do you get shiny throughout the day, Kate? Do you recommend this powder to help control shine? You know, I don't wear makeup out enough for long enough periods of time anymore to be like, I've worn this for 12 hours and I can speak to it. I just don't. But I will tell you, the, you know, when I do wear makeup, it's usually if I'm going out on a date night with Randy um, or I'm going to a friend's place or whatever. I never think about it when I get home, I guess. I'm always like, oh yeah, it looks fine. I, I don't know. I just never have issues with I don't ever feel like shiny or like, oh no, I need to go powder my nose. I guess that's just not something that a thought that occurs to me very often. Um, but again, like everyone's skin is so different. Oh, I'm an oily bitch. That's why I asked. I think this is a great light um, finishing powder and it does give your face like a really nice soft focus as it says. So yeah, I like this and I also like the Rare Beauty loose powder. Um, okay, okay. So now I'm gonna do brows and I'm just gonna take my Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. Okay, so I'm going to talk about White Lotus, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to do any spoilers. So everyone calm down. I'm just going to talk about like characters, I think. Um, so th 
things are changing because characters that I didn't like before, I, you know, feel differently about now, which I think is a sign of really good writing. Also a sign of really good writing when you don't know what the hell is going to happen. I, I, I mean, I really don't. I really, really don't this time. I have no idea. Um, Jennifer Dobbins, Martha Stewart for the blunt rotation, dream or nightmare, depending on how you feel about her. <laughs> that could be really funny. I mean, I think Martha's, I don't know. That could be amazing, actually. Oh, I didn't know that about Jamie K said, did we add Snoop Dogg to the blunt rotation? He put out a rap song for kids and recently went on an anti-Trump yay rant on. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, good. Good for Snoop. <gasps> Michelle Wong is here. Another celeb in the house. What can I say? Like all the celebrities come here to my channel. I'm just that lucky. Um, did you guys catch her live stream with Teresa's Dead last night on her channel? If you didn't, you should definitely watch it. They talked about handbags, which I know nothing about. So I was just more into the banter, honestly. I love... Do you hear that? I mean, I don't blame this person upstairs because they've got the same shit going on. So they're vacuuming their life away. But damn, that's loud. <laughs> Walls of paper mache. Sorry, I'm just like this. <laughs> you should hear the sounds I hear. I would zoom in, but I don't want my phone to fall. Yeah, oh yeah, I hear a lot. I hear a lot in this building. <laughs> Dang, they need a Dyson. <laughs> Michelle said it sounds like they're sanding the floors. I know. Whatever. I'm going to hold my tongue because I could tell you, you know, what I hear around the 11 to 12 o'clock hour every night, but we won't get into that. Um, <laughs> Angie English, rude. Don't know if they know you're live right now. I know. Excuse me. Um, I'm on YouTube right now. Could you please be quiet? <laughs> oh, God. Tragic. Um, okay, let's do, let's do this while we're, I don't know if Michelle is still here, but I was thinking if Michelle is here, if Amanda's, whoever, let's just do, Michelle's not watching White Lotus. Shit. Michelle, watch White Lotus already. I wanted to do some sort of like a hot take and popular opinion question that we could all get into. Someone think of one, unless I think of one first. I mean, no one will top the blunt rotation, but actually maybe Michelle needs to answer that. <sighs> Michelle, uh, making it fucking rain with your super chat. Come on. Thank you for earmuffs. <laughs> Thank you for the fancy super chat so much. I think I might have to buy some. I really do. Um, Michelle did watch The Vow. Yes, Lauren Boyles is insistent that we watch The Vow. So while I do my eyes, let's talk about it. I'm going to be using the About Face eyeshadow primer, the smoothing eyeshadow primer. I've never used this. 
I don't know though. Like what, where do we even begin? Michelle and I actually talked about doing like a live stream about the vow. <laughs> Michelle said, OMG, the vow. Like, let me see if anyone is. Oh, that's what you're talking about. Oh my God, I've been missing out. Oh shit, I've missed out on the vow talk in the chat. <sighs> Damn. I mean, hi, Amanda. I don't know. I mean, I think the vow is like, we, we have to go episode by episode and how do you do that? And everyone is pretty much reprehensible in that, except for... You know, pretty much almost everyone. <laughs> Michelle's like, we're just saying over and over again how it's the worst. Just over, let's just repeat it. It's so bad. It's the worst. <sighs> yeah, Bonnie Nominson, the people, Bonnie Nominson said, the people that still worship him need help. I mean, you can see that like crazy glazed look in their eyes. You know what I mean? Like they got the crazy in their eyes. And I think there's only five of them, right? So it's not that many. That's how many people are keeping it going outside of Keith Raniere's pri prison cell. Um, and yeah, I was also thinking like another, another thing that people, where can I watch it? Amanda Z. Oh, The Vow is on HBO. So both The Vow and White Lotus is on HBO. It is truly the most fucked up thing I've ever seen. Way more fucked up than the first season. Breck Peabody, I wasted my whole weekend on the vow. Oh, but was it a waste? It's so well done. I mean, it's very upsetting, but I'll tell you what, that's one of, like, the way that documentary is filmed, the way it's laid out, the way they laid out, that's so complicated. And I feel like they did such a good job and they also do a great job of every episode. You're like, what the fuck? You can't even imagine how fucked up the next episode's gonna be. I mean... Not that we want things to be fucked up, but you know what I'm saying. As a documentary, it really, it really gets in there. Um, okay. Okay, let me, oh yeah. So I put the eyeshadow primer. <laughs> Lisa, did anyone buy Nancy's Crying? Oh, wow. You know, I don't, I don't know if I do. I think she's, I think there's a lot that could go into her crying because she feels terrible about everything in her life and her daughters and everything. But I don't know, Michelle and I were talking and we both were like, I think Nancy's kind of playing dumb in a lot of ways. Uh, Michelle said that one scene of Keith Raniere sitting on the couch with Daniela and talking about Led Zeppelin. <laughs> I, I think I mentioned that in the last live. Yes, I wanted to rip my TV off the wall and break it over my knee. <laughs> no, he's such a douche. He's such an unbelievable douche. And everyone's just eating it up like candy. Like, oh, wow. All right, Kate, put on some makeup. Um, I'm going to put on the Kaja stack. In Velvet Dream, I haven't tried this yet. Yeah, Nancy is such a tool and an accomplice. <laughs> yeah, I just... Jennifer Dobbins. Oh my God, thank you for the super chat. Ooh, get the Make Beauty Eyeliner. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, I mean, when he tells, um, I think it's Daniela, right? After she, she gets, he makes her get an abortion. Um, I'm really, I know like some of these are spoiled. Honestly, guys, there's so many bad things that happen. I could literally tell you five right now and it wouldn't ruin anything because you're just going to be like, oh my God, it's just a nonstop, terrible nightmare show. So just don't even worry about it. <sighs> When he's like, oh, here, get this abortion. And then he's like, oh, don't worry. 
Olympic athletes sometimes get pregnant as like a training technique to lose weight. I was like, wow. Wow. Oh my God, I know Amanda Z. No, I know, I know. There are a couple of spoilers, but I promise you it pales in comparison to everything else. I'm going to stop. That's it. That's it. That's it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Fuck. Okay. I'm going to go in with the top shade. Hi, Natal Natalia Lavrova. I mean, Brex, okay, okay. Amanda Z, the lady at McDonald's yesterday thought I was pregnant. What? Excuse me? Excuse me. What did she just say? What do you, it's a long story. Okay, well. Feel free to tell it if you want. I know it's probably a lot to type, but best believe we'll be very enraged on your behalf. Can we just stop commenting on women's bodies, like period, in any way, shape or form? Any way, shape or form. That goes for everyone, men and women. Amanda Z, she thought the photos in my car were an ultrasound, what? Excuse me? If someone said that to me, <laughs> whoo! Mm. Mm. Oh man, I can't make any promises as <laughs> to how, how well I handle that. I can't wait for the day someone says something to me about like being pregnant or something. I don't know what that's going to be, but when that, if, and when that day happens, it's going to be ugly. Okay. So going in with the middle shade, I haven't watched this, um, uh, Jonah Hill documentary Stutz. Is that what it's called? Stutz Stutz. So many people have recommended it and I do need to see it. Ugh, Lauren's saying it so, happens so many times to her when people bring up pregnant. Stop it. Lauren, what do you say? Let's let's help Lauren workshop something to say or everyone. Let's help. Let's workshop it together because that is just not acceptable in 2023. Okay, like you have no idea what someone's life is. So stop it. And men don't have to deal with that shit, obviously. Liz, hi, Liz Chambers. Oh, Megan DC. I bounced a client yesterday for talking negatively about one of my stylists post-pregnancy weight gain. What? I don't regret it. She left with wet hair. Ex I'm sorry. For talking negatively about one of my stylists post-pregnancy weight gain? What kind of trash human does that? That's disgusting. I am going to throw myself out the window. I'm just like constantly horrified at how terrible everyone is. <laughs> okay, going with the last shade, because why not? like a really nice nude palette stack. <laughs> Chase, that is why I stay home. <laughs> Word.
Okay, that's pretty. It's just like a nice kind of subtle warm eye. But not too warm, you know? Thank you, Amanda. Okay, so I know Amanda loves these these stacks too, and they're just they're just really beautiful and they're really, really easy to work with. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna actually forgot to pick an eyeliner. Let me do. Oh my goodness, Natalia sent a super chat. I will, thank you. I will never understand how women especially can be so vile towards other women grateful for this community of reason and kindness. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you so much. Same, same. Um, okay, so I'm grabbing my Jones Road the best pencil in the shade black. I'm just gonna thicken my upper lash line a little bit. Um, sorry, concentrating, hold please. Oh my God. Okay. So you know what we watched last night? We watched the, the remake. I think it's from ni either 96 or 97. I can't remember of Miracle on 34th street. Now, let me tell you something. I used to love this movie. Okay. Dylan McDermott, Elizabeth Perkins. Um, who's Maya shoot. What's her name? Or Mara Wilson. Richard Attenborough. I used to live for this movie. I used to watch it all the time. I like rem I had like lines ingrained in my head, like in the cobwebs of my very brain that I didn't even remember. It didn't age well. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. Um, there was lots of making fun of the movie because when you watch, like, does anyone know what I'm talking about? Did anyone give a shit about this movie? Did anyone watch it? Well, anyway, I'm going to tell you my main issue with it. Both Randy and I are horrified because Dylan McDermott is, like, obsessed with Elizabeth Perkins' character. But it's like, what are they? What are they? They're not together, so they're, like, friends. But, like, they do things that friends don't do. Anyway, the point is that he, like... He asked her to marry him on their first date. What is happening? We were like, this man is psychotic. I used to see this as like a magical, like, oh my God, Elizabeth Perkins, what is she thinking? Her character, like she should be with him. And he's so handsome and so lovely. What's wrong with her? Now I'm like watching this through the lens of an adult. And I'm like, that's fucked up. He is like pursuing her in this like insane, aggressive way. I was just like, you're a sociopath. Like I couldn't even get down. Okay. What are we talking about? We're not in the, oh God. Oh God. What's happening. We're not talking about, um, we're we talking about Pat McGrath. Oh, wait, what? Okay. Oh, Pat McGrath and Bridgerton is now at TJ Maxx. Oh, oh my. Um, wow, there's a lot going on here. Anyway, I'm just saying, if you want to like side eye a Christmas movie, put on the remake of... <laughs> Miracle on 34th Street because I was like, this really hit different. This really hit different as an adult. <laughs> P. 
people are all up in the comments talking some tea about Natasha Denona and Pat McGrath. Um, okay, I, I, I wish I could like add on to this. I'm just going to focus on my eyeliner because I have no idea what's going on with either of those brands. Um, just working on my baby wings. Sorry, I'm just reading your comments. I had a friend, Jennifer, I had a friend who was, I have a friend who was recently dating a guy who told her he wanted to marry her on their first date. Now she has a restraining order against him. <laughs> That's the vibe. That's what I was, we were getting from Dylan McDermott last night. It's like, dude, give it up, man. Okay, so now I'm gonna do mascara and I'm pulling out the Kaja, now this is interesting to me. This is a three-part magnetized situation and it's a mascara and you have clear length, no, clear volumizing and lengthening and you're supposed to use them in that order and the clear can be used as a brow gel. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna curl my lashes. Liz Chambers, hi guys, instead of talking about whatever y'all are talking about, <laughs> let's talk about 40 something women who are recently separated out there on the dating scene slash dating apps. <laughs> I mean, okay, let's talk about it. Liz, would you like to start? <laughs> this mascara seems like too much work. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's a three parter, but we're gonna, we're gonna see. Michelle, Amanda, have you tried this mascara? Inquiring minds want to know. Okay. So now I'm going to go in with one, which is the, no, I'm not going to go in with, with clear. I don't, you can't make me. Um, I'm going to go in with volumizing. Okay. Oh, look at that wand. <laughs> Sorry. Have you guys seen, um, the YouTube skit? like about the Christmas, the Christmas tree where John Roberts is like, Oh, look at that tray. Oh, look at that. Come over here. We're going to look at the tray. Whenever I'm like, Oh, look at, the, <laughs> Oh, look at that wand. I'm, I just think of that. Bueller, anyone? Go and watch the Christmas tree after this. Thank me later. John Roberts now voices the mom on Bob's burgers. So that really worked out for him. Sabrina Russell said, screw dating, get a friend with benefits. Oh, okay. Um, huh. Yeah, whatever works for you, you know. <laughs> wow, this chat is on fire. Bonnie. Okay. Oh, hi, Patsy. Okay. Let me focus on the mascara here. Well, I will say this is giving me like a feathery, um, lash look kind of like that beauty pie uber volume mascara. And then I'm going to go in. Sorry for the horrible faces I'm making. My apologies to you. Now I'm going to go in with the lengthening side. Oh yeah, if you're here, hell, give this a thumbs up.
Actually, I really do like um, how the volumizing mascara looks. And now, okay, I like these wa this wand because it's small. I'm gonna be a little careful because I don't wanna overdo it and make them like clumpy, but I think this is perfect. Definitely gave me thick lashes. Hi, Leah Marie. Um, I mean, I have friends who are in their 30s who are dating and they want to light themselves on fire. So, I mean, I, I you know, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, but that's my, what I have to offer. I did the apps. Um, I sound, I, I sound elderly. I, I did the apps back in the day. Um, but, but I did, I did them in my twenties, um, met terrible people on them. Terrible. The worst men I've ever known, but that's not to say there aren't some good ones on there. I mean, not many. He said, I'm a gay 32 year old man and did all the apps and it's no, it's a no if someone comes along and it's a no. Okay. Sorry. I'm not, re I'm this cold read is terrible. Let me start over again. <clears throat> I'm a gay 32 year old man and did all the apps and it's a no if someone comes along. Great. No, fuck. I fucked it up again. It's a no if someone comes along. Great. Otherwise, fuck off. Wow. I botched, I botched that. Sorry, Chase. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna do the other eye. Thanks, Monica. I know, Maddie, I know a couple people who've been, I, wait, 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 oh, no, 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 the chat's moving so fast. I know a couple who's been married over a decade who met on the ass. No, I'm not saying that doesn't happen. I'm just saying, probably not. Um. Amanda Z, have you seen the Reyes stories? Oh my God, Amanda Z always bringing up things that make me feel like an idiot because I don't know what she's talking about and then I feel elderly. What's that? <laughs> Rays, oh, Rays the dating app. Oh, oh, there's a dating app called Raya? Oh, okay. Well, I did match when I was in my 20s. Um, and I met some of like the most sociopathic men I've ever met. Could have also been the filter I was putting on. But regardless, I know. Oh, you have to be accepted into this app. Okay. Well, what does, what do you have to do to be accepted? My God. Is it like a, is it like actor's equity? Okay, so now I'm going in with the lengthening. So I'm not mad about this mascara. It's nice. Do I want to have to use two different mascaras? I mean, sometimes I do. It's not the worst thing in the world. I prefer one, but I like what it did for my lashes. What do you think? And now I'm going to go in with... Um, this clear gel and use it as a brow gel. This is what it looks like. Han Solo, I've seen the most bizarre images. Mine eyes had air experienced via straight men on the apps. <laughs> oh, I bet. Oh, I bet. Well, 
that shell is nice. Yeah, sure, why not? Did I put too much on? Is that what's happening? I might have been a little ham, but we'll let it dry. Um, Katie G, damn, I got high and put on an acid peel mask and sat down to watch and I have no idea how long I've been slack jawed at the screen. Too entertaining, you guys. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you for sharing that moment with us. Okay. Let me... Oh, God. I'm sorry. I just got a text about the, the Georgia elections. Warnock is in the lead. It's from Michelle. Sorry, I'm like, but Warnock is in the lead, but it's kind of close. Oh, God. <coughs> it really took it out of me to make that sound. I wasn't anticipating that. Sorry. <coughs> Sorry, that was like upsetting to read. Um, oof. Megan DC, just so you know, I often help out bartending at my friend's bar. We know when you're on an app date and we talk about it, but we also got your back if shit gets weird. Oh, that's so great. Good. Yes. <clears throat> I'm, I'm scrolling up. I'm scrolling up. Amanda Z, my therapist is Kate saying, thank you for sharing that moment. <laughs> oh, God. Liz Chambers is distracted because she's texting on a dating app with a guy. Wow. That's almost kind of like, isn't that kind of like meta for you right now? Am I using meta right? I never know. Liz Chambers, life is a rich tapestry. Liz Chambers DM'd me. Wow, I'm just looking at myself delayed on the screen and I am making the most intense face reading the comments. Is that how I look all the time? That's upsetting. Um, Liz Chambers told me that one of her favorite uh, things to say is life is a rich tapestry and it's maybe one of the most things I've ever... Um, <clears throat> one of the best things I've ever heard. Hold on, let me. Sorry, I just have to remove someone. <laughs> um, okay. So now I'm actually gonna take my, I just need a spoolie, sorry. Okay, I mean, listen, that that mascara as a gel is fine. I I wouldn't do that though. There are other gels that are better. So, like, see, this is not, what's going on here? Yeah, I think the mascara is the way to go, but I don't know about that clear gel, honestly. Okay. So now, <clears throat> Michelle said, how is the fucking runoff ever close? Fuck everyone. Yes. I, Michelle, do not apologize. You are correct. And you should be fucking angry. More anger. Okay. So this is my thought. I'm a little nervous about this, but I'm gonna try it. 
This is the About Face Longwear Gel Eyeliner in the shade Sad Girl. How appropriate. Um, and I, I wanted to do like a, a lower waterline situation with this. Do you think that's going to be? Well, we're going to do it. We're just going to do it. Okay, Amanda C. Amanda Z said she thinks this might be cool. So hell, I got the go ahead. Let's do it. Let's do it to it. Maybe I make like, maybe I just do the wing blue too. Maybe I just color that in. Why not, right? That's kind of pretty. I mean, it looks, it's a bright blue. It's like a cobalt blue. And then I'm going to do just a little on the outside here. Amanda Cordero, the South and Midwest votes against their own best interests. You know, it's interesting. I I read it. I'm not going to be able to say this as well as the person who tweeted it, but like, I I I I get that thought, but I think a lot of people are saying that about about white women in the South, right? Like they're voting against their self interest. But I read this tweet that was like, no, they're not they're going to be fine. Like they want, they want to see exactly where they are. And so that's how far gone it is. Like they don't even see that as voting against their own self-interest, which is, well, that's the problem, isn't it? <laughs> it's just that real thick internalized misogyny that's just ingrained in there. <clears throat> Michelle, you are welcome here amongst the potty mouths, okay? Chase me Chase said, I live in the South and the women here are against women's rights. Yes. I mean, I just had a person comment today who was like, wait, let me find it. Let me find it. Oh, maybe I can't. But anyway, basically she was like, I don't know what pro-choice has to do with makeup, but bring on the vodka. I don't know if I could sum up what's wrong with white women better than that comment. I don't know what's pro-choice about makeup, but bring on the drinks. I hate us. Unbelievable. Karen K, I blame Catholicism. I don't think it's just that. <laughs> I think there's a lot of things to blame. That's one of them. Let's just say religion. I used to think that was a hot take and now I'm like, no, that's not.
Okay. So let me finish up this eye. My God. I'm just like so invested in this combo. I don't even, well, I do care, but. Okay, so I'm gonna go in on my lower lash line with, with the mascara because because now that I did this liner. Um, <clears throat> Nicole Lenore, when I read Gone with the Wind a few years ago, I was so mad. All I could think was, we should have just let the South go. Why did we fight a war to keep them attached? Let them go. <sighs> yeah. Um, Thanks, Chase. Oh no, that's not the right. I'm I'm getting the um the lengthening one. I'm just gonna do the lower lurches. kind of a twiggy effect. I, I got a little bit on my skin, so I'm gonna go in and clean that up afterward. But I think that l makes more sense with the liner. Yeah, this mascara is okay. It's not my favorite. I wouldn't be like, run, do not walk on it. It's cute. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, Amanda Z, if I leave suddenly my laptop is low on charge. Yes, yes, of course. Okay, so let me let that set. And then I'm going to go in, you know, actually because my eyes are so warm, I think I'm gonna change the blush, uh, the blush up because, because. Um, so let's do, what do I wanna do? Well, first I'm going to, I'm going to fix my hair. That's what I'm going to do because it's fully dry now. And actually I'm going to put this in description box. This is a new brand to me. They are going on the pro choice list. It's called Barb and it's for people who have short hair and they make, I believe they only make one product and it is a soft clay pomade with medium hold and a natural finish. And I'm really excited because the pomade I was using before was Arojo's and Nick Arojo is um, a flaming Trump supporter garbage trash pile person. So I'm really excited to hopefully use something that I can actually talk about, <laughs> feel good about talking about. Um, oh my God. <sighs> that smells so good. <laughs> it smells so good. Let me back up so you can look at how crazy my hair's getting. Oh, thank you, Karen. Yes, I just got my nails done. I got like a that sort of like Hailey Bieber glazed thing. These are I, I put this on Instagram. I think these are probably like my favorite nails ever. Like the shine on them is just and the shape, she killed it, she killed it. I can take no credit whatsoever. Okay, fully dry, this is air dried, obviously. This is not, <laughs> this is not blow dried. I, I can't even think of the word, that's how little I use a blow dryer. Um, people have been commenting, commenting on this ring. This is actually from Vera Meat, which I will put it in the description box later. But yeah, I love this skull ring. It's an onyx, I think it's called Heart of the Dead ring. Okay, so let's do a warmer glitter sh shade. What do I wanna do here? 
Okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. I'm going to pull out my MAC Glow Play Blush in the shade Cheer Up. I think this was a, a khaki purchase because I saw her use this. And I, I mean, I have like five of these. I love them so much. Um, yes, the nails are chrome. I'm sorry, that's what they are, but they're the glazed donut nail that Haley, that Haley Bieber made so famous. So it's basically, I have a lot, I've gotten some questions on like, what color is that? And I can never tell you because I go to a specific salon in New York City and they are the tippy tippy top. They're amazing. These are my nails. There's gel over them. And I chose like a, a really, really sheer white base and then chose like um, basically a glaze that was a combination, had like a pink slash green reflect to it. Isn't it crazy? Like, I don't know. They helped me with it. Um, because they're amazing there. Okay. Yeah, I think this needs to go peachier. Yeah. Karen, you don't have to be sorry about your Catholicism comment. Okay. Like, Organized religion is highly problematic. All right, I'm not. I don't. I make no. I make no apologies for saying that, like just across the board. So, of course, everyone everyone can can you know believe whatever they want to believe, but like that shouldn't come into play in terms of human rights. And like that, I don't get. So, I mean, I know I'm I'm Captain Obvious over here, but. <clears throat> Organized religion has a lot of really upsetting problems. Okay. So, and yes, I'm being general, but come on now. So I'm going in like really light, like I'm literally like tapping in. And I'm like taking it up into the eye. So it kind of looks a little bit like blends into the eye look. Look at how beautifully this magic product like blends in. It's like a putty consistency. Okay, I think that's good. That's exactly what I want. It's like a combination of pink and a little bit peach, peachy pink. Okay, now lips. And I forgot to put the lip liner in the description box, but I will. This is my go-to nude liner, is the Rare Beauty um, Kind Words Matte Lip Liner in the shade Worthy. <clears throat> what happened to the separation of church and state, Naomi said? Well, I think we have to look to the Supreme Court. <laughs> Maddie Fox, you still haven't said how your skin is so... Well, that's very sweet of you. I don't have perfect skin, but let me tell you. I spend a lot of time on my skin, okay? So I can't really take a lot of... I mean, it's, it's really the products that I use. And I'm telling you right now, I don't know how many times I have to say it and I know it's a pretty penny and then I get it. That fucking Dr. Dennis Gross LED mask can have its way with me. I, you guys, LED is it. I don't like, and everyone's like, are you sure? But, but if I try it, will I have a new face? And I'm like, well, I don't, you're going to have a better face than you have. <laughs> you will though. It really is. It's truly amazing how I'll, I'll use it. I'll, I'll use it for like 40 minutes. Michelle Wong is saying LED, LED. This is what we're saying. We got our LED masks at the same time and we started using them around the same time and we both say the same thing. Like it's, it's like magic. You just look, will it help rosacea? Yes. Anti-aging. 
acne, rosacea, skin toning, fine lines and wrinkles. I know that's the same as anti-aging. Anyway, <laughs> like I'm telling you, I got my mom, I know this is separate, but I got from Sharper Image, I got her, she has horrible um, arthritis in her hands and LED is great for pain relief. So she started using it on her hand and she could actually like make a fist where she couldn't before. Like LED is legit. I don't know how many times, well, I, I'll say it until the end of time, but. I'm afraid to use an LED mask because of the eye exposure. It just makes me nervous. Well, I don't know how to make you feel less nervous. All I can tell you is that I checked with Penn Smith Skincare, who is like, she, not like, she is an advanced esthetician. When I got my LED mask and I asked her specifically, can I use this red light with my eyes open? And she said, yes, you can. You absolutely can. Blue light, close your eyes. Red light, absolutely fine. It is not gonna hurt your eyes. I, I mean, I'm not an eye doctor. I'm going off of what she said, but I think you're good. Um, <clears throat> now I'm gonna go in with a new gloss. This is from Kaja as well. This is the gloss shot in the shade. Hold on a second, I have to open it. So also I wanna tell you like girly girls saying they have an LED mask uses a hyper, hyper pigmentation. It's awesome in only three minutes. This is what I wanna tell everyone who either has a mask or is thinking about getting an LED mask. Use it for more than the prescribed amount of time. I do not understand why people do not say, use this as much as you can, but since they haven't, I'm going to say it to you, use it as much as you can, okay? Three minutes is not enough. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's better than nothing, but like, Keep that shit going, you know what I'm saying? Like the more you do it, the better it's gonna be. So <clears throat> I just keep pressing it on over and over again. I will lay there and then I'll like wash on my face. Um, yeah, okay, so now we're going in with this beautiful nude gloss. How long is the cord? The cord. Oh, there's no cord. You charge it. Okay. Okay. So now listen, I like this look, but I feel like it needs, I don't know what it needs. It doesn't need anything. Actually, it's, it's great. It's just like, I want my cheeks to be a little peachier and that wasn't enough. So I sound like I'm going about, I'm about to do brain surgery or something. Let me just add a peach blush. Okay. Now I'm going to go into this peach powder blush, which is the Mac blush in the shade peaches. And you know, actually, no, this is what I want to do. I figured it out. I want to put a shimmer on my eye. That's what I feel like is missing. I feel like we need a shimmery eye. So I'm going to grab another Kaja stack that has shimmers. Not that one, another one. Oh, here we go, Peach Madeline. This is it. And I'm just gonna go in with this champagne -y shimmer shade. Cause I feel like the blue is like glam, right? So maybe just a little, a little, by a little, I mean a lot of shine. And I'm gonna take it all the way up. That is what I want because it kind of tamped, even that was, I know I said it wasn't too warm, but like for this look, I felt like the eye look was a little too warm for me. And I think that offsets the blue a little bit better. Kind of lost the wing here. Hold on.
But I want to mention to you guys, if you are wanting to get a higher price item, if you're wanting to spend the money that's absolutely worth it, like people are like, okay, I get filler, I get facials, I get hada bada shada bada wada wada wada, whatever. I'm like, but if you, but if you just took care of your skin really well at home and you had LED, like you probably wouldn't have to do those things. Just saying. So what I was going to say is there's 20% off at Sephora right now. So definitely if you're thinking about getting that, get the 20% off because they also have the mask in a kit, which gets you full size products, full size products for free though. So check it out. And if you do, shop through my link. Um, okay, so I think this is the finished look. I'm going to back it up a little bit. I like it. I would never usually probably choose to do like a blue waterline, but I really like it with the shimmer now. And I'm trying to think of like, I don't know if I have a favorite product. Sorry, I'm looking at myself in the monitor. <laughs> trying to be, I'm trying to be like, what, what did I love? I mean, I love my blush the most, honestly. Um, and the lip is okay. I don't know why I always have the hardest time with a nude lip. Like, what is wrong with me? Everyone loves a nude lip, and I'm like, I don't know. I don't know, but I think it was the right choice with the blue liner and just like the amount of blush I have on it. Anyway, okay, thank you, Kate, for justifying your makeup choices. Um, Amanda, Kate, also watch your diet. Skin reflects what you eat and drink. Eh. Eh. <laughs> Does it? I mean, I like to drink. I drink every day. I eat healthy, but I also eat what I want. Like, I don't eat just, like, celery and kale. Like, it's fine. I feel fine. <laughs> I mean, yeah, of course food affects how you feel and blah, 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 but eh, <clears throat> have that other drink. Um, okay, so I am going to go because we're finished now. <laughs> wow, what an ending. What an ending. Um, thanks, Angie. Um, I'm going to go watch these fucking results roll in. Um, thank you guys for joining me. I, you know, I don't, I, I wanted this to be like a proper video because I don't, I don't like to do two live streams in a row because then people start freaking out. They're like, oh my God, is that all she does is lives? And they start unsubscribing. But I really appreciate you guys being here because as you know, I just haven't been able to, to get content up. I have not been able to film because of this rigmarole going on with my bathroom and the fact that like we never know when anyone's going to be here and they're just people in our apartment at all times so thank you so much for um being here for supporting for watching the live if you're here give this a thumbs up subscribe um and yeah i hopefully i'm gonna do a live stream about white lotus next week watch white lotus how many times do i have to tell you all right. Okay. You guys are the best. Uh, stay safe out there and cheers till next time. Bye.